Hello everyone, this is Kodra Singh and today we will be talking about calculating the distance between two features in a given data set. So features can be also called columns. So uh, we have two type of distance. <clears throat> While I'm talking, I'll import some libraries. Um, so we have two type of distance called uh, equilibrium distance and uh, Manhattan distance. So in equilibrium distance, uh, we calculate distance. Let's, uh, let's suppose I have to go from example to downloads so the if I, if I draw a line over here and if i can and if i calculate the distance like if i calculate the length of that line that is my equilibrium distance but let's suppose uh i cannot go uh go above these boxes or folders so i have to go find out the white path so this is called manhattan or city block distance this one second one so I in the manhattan city block distance i have to go straight take a right go straight take a right and uh, then take a left and then reach downloads. So this is how city block works or Manhattan uh, distance works. Just like uh, New York's Manhattan, how the city has been divided into, the Manhattan area has been divided into blocks. So one person has to move according to the blocks. They obviously you cannot uh, jump across the buildings. Uh, but the name of Manhattan doesn't come from Manhattan, New York Manhattan. Um, it comes from some other terminology. I don't know what but that doesn't really matter. <clears throat> so I have to import uh, from uh, using SciPy from SciPy spatial distance, spatial uh, distance, we will be from this library will be importing um, city block and equilibrium distance. Uh, so we have to make sure the more distance means more dissimilarity between two data points or features. So if there's uh, it, the more distance doesn't mean that it's they're similar but they're very distinct from each other so let's first uh, import the data so I will regarding the data that I have taken this data from uh, I've taken this with, let me just do ls so that I can copy paste the name of the data of the file actually and I'll do df is equals to so the data I have taken from the Kaggle and I will I will give the link in the description below for the Kaggle uh, data set and as well as I'll give the direct link to the uh, database uh, data if you guys don't want to go to Kaggle or create an account or something like that but I would highly recommend that you guys should go so I, I do df uh, head first of all everyone should do df head so that they can understand what all data points are there as we can see they they, they all look float variables because <laughs> Can I see any string or something? But still, to be sure, we'll do df.info. If you guys don't have seen my pandas tutorial, I highly recommend that you guys see about see my pandas tutorial. So in df.info, I'm getting all the data. So it's all float. And there's near about 575,000 entries, rows. Okay. So now, to calculate the distance uh, between two variables, uh, we're going to use these uh, two methods. But uh, first of all, I'll tell you a bit about the data. We might be working more on this data. So ambient is something we need to predict. Ambient is basically the temperature of a of a given car or some uh, or some motor, uh, which is being calculated on the basis of these all variables. So if I want to calculate uh, the I want to calculate the distance between ambient and coolant, a city block content. So let's suppose I do uh, city block uh, city block distance of uh, ambient ambient and uh, coolant so I'll just print it so as we can see we have 48,000 okay something something 488,000 something something and if I do the same for let's suppose IQ uh, so we're going to do cd2 city block df.ambient so ambient is a predictive value like we have to predict that value so that's that's why it's constant and we're gonna see for other variables iq okay i didn't print it cd2 so as we can see the distance of this uh, variable is more than this one. 
so yeah it's 800 800,000 and it is for 4800,000 something 480,000 something yeah. so uh similarly we'll calculate the equilibrium distance so we're gonna do ed is equals to equilibrium and i'll just copy paste from here ED. Uh, it says 801 and we're gonna do the same thing for this one we can just write ed2 ed2 and uh, equilibrium instead of city block so it says 1352 so at so these are two two ways we can uh, calculate the distance as we can see uh, the city block and the coolant is uh, more related to each other whereas uh, am, sorry ambient and coolant is more related to each other whereas ambient and iq is not more related to each other so similarly we can find out for all the all the variables in the uh, all the features or columns in the in the data set uh, keeping the ambient constant so if you guys want to do some homework you guys can put your home or uh, do your homework and since comparing all the values and giving me the best so the best value is the least value so the least so because i want to find out which is the variable which is most affecting me the i'm um, um, most affecting the value of ambient uh thank you so much guys for watching the tutorial if you guys like me uh really like my content then do give me a give me a thumbs up like hit a like button and uh, do subscribe my channel really motivates me to make new content and if you guys really want to know some more about data science specific to data science then i will be making more tutorials but you guys can tell me in comments like what else should i make thank you so much guys stay tuned and stay happy